ago, I was working in um, a department store in customer service, and every it's always your normal day. Nobody, no, no really big issues. It's not as bad what people think. Usually, everybody's really nice about it, and every now and then you get you one person who's a little angry at you. But however, this guy, a few years ago, he was like the one who I always will remember for the rest of my life. I still remember what he looks like exactly what he was wearing, I can pinpoint him out right now. <laughs> he was doing a return, he didn't have a receipt, didn't, but didn't buy it on credit card, couldn't look it up. So I entered in his ID number to do a 90 to return and it came out quick for a refund, which means that he's made too many 90 to return, so they had flagged him in the system for it. And so he starts getting really angry really angry at me and he starts like calling me names and everything and I'm just like I'm not used to that I'm just I'm a, I'm a Christian girl who goes to church every Sunday and I just do not I'm not used to these names being called by name and so I'm slowly stepping away from the counter slowly stepping away trying to hide from him because I thought he was going to jump over the counter and kill me because he, I, I really think he was on drugs because I my brother was on drugs, and I just know the difference between someone who's angry and someone who's angry and on drugs. And so anyway, so he then, um, he then just, you know, I can't do anything. The manager, she's like, was already back there for something else, and she's like, yeah, you need to leave. We can't do anything for you. So he storms out really mad and everything. And so then um, the next day or so, he goes to a different store in the same chain, and he does the same thing the same problem and the girl says they said the same thing as me she was never so afraid as a, of a customer ever before in her whole life and so anyway so they um so then they called us to call us ahead and say well this is what happened because what he said was he was going to come right back to the store to my store to punch somebody out and so i am getting so scared like really scared every day. I'm thinking, is he gonna come in? Is he gonna come in and kill me? What's gonna happen? And so anyway, so I had texted one of the guys who was working and I asked him, did that guy come in, you know? And just wondering, he said, yeah, he called and he said he'd be in tomorrow. <laughs> and so I'm like, oh no, I'm working tomorrow night. This can't happen, oh my goodness, what are we gonna do? And so then I just like, you know, I just I buck up, I just go and I'm like, I hope there is some guy here to protect me if he just jumps on the counter and tries to beat me down. But there was no guy there to help me at all. So I was just stuck there by myself. And so anyway, and so then the whole day was over. And then, you know, the next couple of days, like when I saw the guy who I asked, my coworker, he said, yeah, he never came in at all. And he's like, oh, yeah, I just um, told you that. He never called. I just wanted to play with a shirt on you. That's all. And so, yeah, that was my scariest customer I ever seen in my whole life, and I hope I never see him ever again. <laughs>